Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do some simple publication layout in a program called Affinity Publisher. Uh, that's a, a program I've just started using the last few weeks. I've been using uh, uh, Scribus, which is an open source program, but Affinity Publisher is a, a little easier to use, um, and it's, it's a really affordable uh, desktop publishing software. They've got a graphic vector graphic design. Uh, program too called Affinity Designer, which is a little bit like Insc Inkscape, which is a, a pretty cool tool. I want to check out some more, but in this video, I'm just going to uh, show you how to use Affinity Publisher to do some real simple uh, pub uh, publication layout. And I'm doing this video for Yolanda. She's uh, helping us with some content marketing over at RH. So hopefully, you guys can hear me. Um, my dog is snoring in the background, and my wife is playing her TV loud. So hopefully, you guys can hear this okay. All right, so here's what we want to do. So if we go into uh, the RH Marketing folder, uh, we've got a folder uh, called Publications. And then in there, we have Featured Articles. So uh, we're going to do a new Featured Article. It's called The Other Side of the Counter. That's a, a column we're writing for the uh, Central uh, California section of the American Planning Association. So we're trying to do that once a month now. So Right now, all I have in there is the Word doc, so we want to go grab the actual template. Okay, so the template that we set up for uh, Affinity Publisher is under uh, RH Templates. RH, um, let's see, where did I put it? Marketing. So the, the file extension is this AF pub, that's for Affinity Publisher. Okay, and uh, so this PDF will just kind of show you what the, what the template looks like. Okay, so we've just we've got this set up with our standard fonts and colors. It's just a real simple layout. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy this, and we're going to paste it into that folder. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and rename it, and I'm just going to abbreviate it. So I'm going to say the uh, let's see the other side of the counter. That's just way too many. Yeah, so I'm going to say other side of the counter. I like that better. So this is OSC, and this was November, uh, the November uh, uh, issue, okay, November article. Okay, and so we're just going to open that up. So if I double click it, if you have Affinity Publisher installed, it should open up. So we're going to give that a minute to open here. And I'll warn you now, uh, I am not an expert at Affinity Publisher. I've only op I've only used it a couple times, but so here it is. And uh, these uh, kind of turquoise or cyan lines here—that's what we call a baseline grid. That just helps us lay out our text um, in a in a way so that the text lines up. Uh, and I, I probably should do a video that shows you how to set how to set that up, but. So what I want to do is I, I just we want to get some text in here, uh, and then uh, we we got to figure out how to link our frames. But for now, we just want to get the text in here. So you can see I've already set the title. You can just double click to edit the text. Same thing down here. Okay. So for example, uh, we can go in after Article One, and we can just put 2021 11.01. Okay. So we'll put the date in there. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and so I'm going to do a two column layout. Uh, we're we're going to make sure that this other column here can be used for some side notes and some kind of highlighted text. But so what we want to do is we want to copy this text box. So we're going to paste that. So you can see now I've duplicated it and I can just move it over. It kind of lines right up. Okay, and what we actually want to do is we want to link up these frames. And uh, I don't know how to do that yet. So I gotta figure out how to link up these text frames. So uh, let let me pause the video and figure out how to do that, and then I'll I'll come back and we'll and we'll see how to do that. All right, guys, this is pretty simple. I feel I feel pretty dumb, but um, so what you can do to link the frame is you just grab this triangle right here. So if you have the text frame selected, 
um, you click on that triangle and then you click the next text frame and it'll automatically link. So we're going to see how that works here. So we're going to go ahead and open up our Word doc. Uh, we're going to assume that uh, this Word doc doesn't have a bunch of errors in it, which is a, a pretty strong strong assumption that could uh, be certainly proven incorrect. But for now, if we're going to assume we're going to assume that this is uh, good to go. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to come in here and paste that text. Okay. All right, so the text pastes in, and you can see it just automatically spilled over to this next frame, right? Which is good. Okay, but you can also see uh, that we don't have our headings and our, our fonts set up correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of zoom in here. To do that, I'm just holding down the control button and scrolling with the mouse wheel. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this text here. Okay, and we're going to set a style. Okay, so right up here, you can pick a style. So I've got this title style. Okay, uh, that's not the one I want. Nope. So I thought we had a body style in here. I don't see the body style I wanted. So we're going to go ahead and click new style. Okay, and we're going to call it body regular. Okay. And we're going to make this uh, doses is our body font. Okay. And let's see, I think we're going to go like size 10 maybe on that. Okay, and we're just gonna the colors black. Okay, so you can see how that text changed now. Okay, now what we need is we need a uh, we need a subheading style. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna make a new style and we're gonna call it subheading. Okay, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and set that to to uh, Oswald, which is the font we use for titles. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna make that. We're gonna try size 14. We'll see how that looks. But this one I'm gonna give a color. Okay, so uh, we're going to be able to use this. Uh, this is the RH green. Okay, and then we'll see if that how that looks. So we'll just come up here and grab subheading. Okay, and I'm, I don't want it underlined. The underline came in from Word. Okay, so that that looks good. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Whoa, I just grabbed that text frame which I did not want to do. Okay, so now uh, we got to clean up some more of this, so we'll, we'll go ahead and fix these styles. Get rid of the underline, delete that up a space. Okay. Okay, and actually, th this text here, I'm, I think I'm going to put in a side box. Okay, it just kind of explains what the column is, so we're actually going to, we're going to do this. This is also the title, so we're going to get rid of that. Okay, so we're going to make this our first subheading here. Okay, and then we're going to just come down and highlight all this text that should be body text. We're going to set it to body regular. Okay, and then come down here, make this a subheading. Okay, come down and highlight this other text, make it body regular. Okay. Okay, this is a sub another subheading, so we'll do we'll make this subheading. Okay, and get rid of the underline that came in from Word. Okay, and then we've got some more text here that should be body regular. Now, here's the problem we've got, is uh, we got more that can fit on one page, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new page. Okay, so we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna add a page. Okay, and we're gonna just choose what, what this uh, master page, I think this is gonna work, master A, we're gonna hit okay. Nope, it didn't work. So we're gonna delete that. I, I think I don't think this worked because I haven't set up a master page yet. So we're gonna duplicate that page. Okay. Okay, so now here's page two. Okay, page one, page two. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go in and make some adjustments here at page two. So we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of this. Uh, big blue box here because we don't need that title on every page and we're going to adjust this text frame up and you can kind of see everything just flows when I do that okay now we have to we have to fix this linking because this linking is broken okay so am 
might take me a minute to figure out. Okay, so I just broke the link. I want to do that again here. So I'm just clicking that red triangle and then breaking the link. Okay. So this should now uh, flow. It's going to flow from here down to this other column here. And you can see it did that. Okay. And then uh, what we want is we then want to link this to this. Okay. So there you go. Now, now our text just keeps spilling across. Okay. And we're just going to do that until we get enough pages in here. So we're going to duplicate that page. Okay. And we're going to... Um, we're gonna, uh, let's see, I want to break this link here. Okay, so then I'm gonna come over here, click this text frame. All right, it just was smart enough to just see that that should connect, right, which is really cool. We're gonna duplicate those two pages down here. Okay, just double, I just double click on it to open it up. Okay, and again, we wanna break the, um, we just wanna break this first link. Okay. As soon as I do that, it's just smart enough to see that this should all flow through, right? So this is working. This is working really slick. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do that one more. Yolanda's probably like, I have no idea what he's doing. I'm not gonna be able to to figure this out. It's okay. I'll help you, and you can watch the video. All right. So now we're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna just. Um, this might actually be. Let's see. I need to go down one more. Okay, so click this triangle to break the link. Okay. I still gotta get the hang of this link in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna grab that. Nope. I wanna grab this. There you go, click that and then it, it waterfalls over. Okay, let's see. No, 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 no. All right, I don't know why my introduction's coming back up over here. That's kind of weird. It's like I got a circular link. Let me try and break that. Whoop. deleting that stuff at the beginning that would, that would kind of stink no nope, I'm not all right so I'm not sure what's going on there with that that's kind of got a circular link back to the beginning which is kind of freaking me out a little bit so I'll tell you what I'm gonna for now until I figure that out I'm gonna cheat and I'm just gonna um, move this down to right here okay so how you like that a little hack Okay, until I can get this figured out. All right, now we want to go ahead and set up the rest of this text, which is really easy, right? So we're just going to click in here, and we're going to set these to body regular. Okay, and we're just going to keep doing that until we get to a subheading. Okay, so here's a subheading. We're going to set that to the subheading. Okay, get rid of the underline. Okay, so we're just going to work our way through this. dog snores so loud and okay, so here's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go all the way down and make this all body regular and then we'll just go in and find the subheadings okay so four five six okay so here's another subheading about what we want. I gotta find out why that text is coming coming back around again. All right. And you can see it's got a spell check. It doesn't like, you know, there's still some typos in here. Okay. Uh, but that's basically it. Okay, so we've, we've got our doc laid out. Now, one of the things I gotta figure out how to do is we'll add a page number in here. There's probably a way to do that, but let's just go ahead and save this for now. And then uh, what we can do is we can actually export a PDF. So, um, hey, it's saying I got some errors. That's okay, I'm gonna ignore them for now. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and print this.
Okay, so we're gonna go put that in that folder we made. So RH marketing, publications, featured articles, new, other side of the counter. We're gonna go ahead and save it. Okay, and then we're gonna see how our PDF looks. Okay, so here's our PDF uh, with, the, with that. Uh, so I kind of like this, it's got a pretty clean layout. I noticed I got some underlying subheadings here I still need to clean up. And then, um, you know, we got some cleanup. So I want to I want to add some page numbers and uh, we'll do some, some side boxes. And I think, you know, we don't need this full, this giant box, but maybe we'll do a little, a little blue box here with the article title at the top of every page. I think that would help. So um, we'll, we'll do some, we'll do some cleanup on this. Uh, maybe I'll do another video. Um, I'm sure I'll do some more with Affinity Publisher, but I wanted to um, show you guys how to do that. The other thing I got to figure out is I probably want I want separate pages. I probably don't want doubled pages like this. Um, you know, I want every every page to look like this. This is like some kind of book publishing thing, which is interesting. Um, but I don't. I'm not quite sure if that's what I want. So I'll have to I'll have to mess around with it some more. But anyways, guys, appreciate you watching. Thanks.